Hey everybody, this is Rick Fletching again. We're going to have a little bit more fun um, with the Badger Broadhead. This is one I've done tons of testing to. It's pretty banged up. I've shot it through everything. Um, this is a mule deer hide and it's about half froze. A mule deer shoulder blade I've got inside. Um, it's two layers of fur. So I've got the fur wrapped around both, on both sides sandwiched around that shoulder blade. Then a big old block of ballistic gel, and this stuff is, I mean, I've got a pass through on everything I've shot this year, and you will not get a pass through on this block, so let's shoot it and see what happens. It'll be pretty fun. Let me grab my bow, and I'll just be shooting a light poundage bow. This is like 48 pounds. It's a black swan. <coughs> anyway, let's have a little bit of fun. See what happens. I know you guys have probably seen my other video where I shot a shoulder blade using uh, this broadhead, but now we're going to put a little hide on it. Have a little fun. All right. Let's let it rip. Oh, dead stop. See how? Oh, we got complete pass through. Awesome. Come out the other side. Let's take a peek at it. Doing this here in the garage. So, through two layers of hide, through the bone, as you can see there, and almost full penetration of the head out the other side. Awesome. Let's uh, set it up and do it again. You guys don't like, think it's a fluke. This is the and how many guys you see on these hunting videos shooting compound bows and they're not getting pass-throughs? Makes me sick. Just ridiculous. No sense for that. They're, they're using the wrong broadheads, something. I don't think these guys tune their bows or shoot compounds and they just move their sights to where their bow hits where they want it to instead of tuning the arrow shaft to the bow. Alright, let's uh, see what happens. We'll do it again. And uh, this is not a small uh, bone either. It's a 200 pound animal. So, let's do it again. Alright, this is what we got. Stopped her short that time. Let's see where we're at in there. I need a good backlight in here. I must have hit that in a very, very thick spot. Oh God, I cannot see. Let me see if I, no, I can't budge it. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened, because that's odd. Didn't come out the other side either. Ah, hit that. Now, this can happen, and it's kind of real life here. Dug right into this. I get this where you can sit. See the size of this bone here. So this is a real life thing here. This can happen. Check that out. All right. This animal would not have died. Let's unscrew this. But I dare to say it take quite a bit of bow to go through that. Well, while we're sitting here playing around. Check this out. Hmm. Just buried it. To the corner of this big thick bone here. Check that out. It said no. 
Michael Waddell says when he shoots one, it couldn't hold it. Well, this one could. Let's see if I can get this uh, broadhead out of here. Oh, mercy. This may take a little work. Ugh. Well, guys, <laughs> that's not coming out. I'm going to have to work on that. Let's see, what else can we shoot here? Here we go. We'll shoot a, um, it's a two blade Eclipse. And this is actually a good head. They're a very durable head. We'll, uh, we'll pitch this hide over. And it's loose and it's not going to get the penetration that we get in real life. But let's, let's pop it. Let's see what happens. without the uh, shoulder blade in there. Ooh, stopped it. These old hides are tough. Huh. Did not penetrate that back side. Check that out, guys. It's just right there, but it didn't... Uh, can't say it made it through because it didn't. Put a little bit of hide. If you guys remember these testings before, these rod heads, you know, they just barely got through this big block. And uh, put a little bit of hide on there. You can see that cut. Really shuts things down. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you what let's do. While we're here playing, let's bust a bone. You want to do that? Let's, you can see here I shot this with the uh, Badger Broadhead, this one here, the other day. Just busted it up. Let's um, see if I can figure out a way to get a shot on this it would be kind of fun kids don't try this at home I would tell you I'm an expert but uh, I won't lie to you alright and I'm not using sights or anything guys I'm shooting totally instinctive with a longbow so I'll have to be patient with me. Let's see what we got. I'm going to shoot through the thick part of the bone. There we go. Flip showed up. Let's go take a peek at it. Oh, sweet. Sweetness, and there's your penetration about three inches into the gel after going through I would say probably one of the hardest areas on a whitetail all right that's why you don't shoot them in the legs or hips guys just won't won't do the job now of course if I shot that with my 60 or 70 pound bow yeah I would my longbow but uh all right and I suspect the Badger Broadhead would have went on through quite a bit better because it, um, that rotation, it pops the bone out of the way and it just keeps on moving. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed that.